So here they are right here, sealed in the plastic. They look legit or whatever. I already opened one and they're right here. So I'm about to test them. Can't wait. All right, so I just tested them and they sound even better than the Gen 3s. These should sound fucking amazing. These are about to be my new personal pair. But um, they also have noise cancellation on them too. I tried it, but I don't even really know if it made a difference or not. But regardless, these shits are good as hell. So let's start listing to them. I'm probably only going to list five today since I got like 19 of them. So yeah, I'm going to do five of them on Marketplace. Let's go. Dogs, they bark, so don't look at them. Also, you fuck with the Cookie Monster PJs though? That shit go hard, right? Stop playing with me. All right, y'all. So I'm in the gym parking lot right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just me. But I be sitting in my car for a good five minutes before I go in, just contemplate, think about life, think about how every step I took led to this exact moment right here, right now, at this very millisecond, you know? All right, so we finna go deliver these AirPod Pro 2s to my cousin um, for 40 bucks. This nigga tried to lowball the shit out of me. He said he'll buy them off of me for $20. My Y'all, we just got another AirPod sale, you know what I'm saying, from my uncle again. So he fucked with them yesterday and he fucks with them again. So he's about to buy a second pair. Man, it's the genie, aka Capilla World here. Back at it again with another video man type shit, you know what I'm saying? We're continuing my AirPod reselling journey. Today's part four. We had some success with part one, part two, and part three. And part four, hopefully, is going to be even more successful. So, yeah. Now, although I was pretty successful with the past three parts, I only did local delivery, you know, local pickup, just local sales. But if I really want to get serious with air power reselling, I got to learn how to ship out like an actual entrepreneur would, like an actual business would. So that's what we're going to be learning today. So after watching a couple of videos, it's really not that hard. It's pretty simple. All you need is bubble mailer and a shipping label printer. So essentially, once you get the order, there's going to be like information that you type in on a website called pirateship.com or some shit like that. So then after you put in the information, you print out the label, you take the AirPod, you put it in the bubble mailer, and you take the label and put it on the bubble mailer, and then you just take it to the local post office. So that seems relatively simple. I learned it from TikTok by this dude named Devin Resells or something like that. I'll probably put a picture of his TikTok right here. He's one of the biggest resellers in the game. And also this dude named Amon. I added Devin Resellers on Snap, but he is still yet to add me back. So Devin Resells, if you're watching this, bro, add me back, please. You're the GOAT. Um, right now I'm finna go to the store and buy some bubble mailer and a shipping label printer because I don't have those yet. I have a regular printer, but I think a shipping label printer will be better because it's not the same material and not the same paper. So we're about to go to the store and buy those right now. Let's go. Oh yeah, and also before I go to the store, it's really interesting how a lot of people are hitting me up in my DMs, my TikTok, my Snapchat, asking for me to help them and to put them on, which of course I'm gonna help and put you on, but you also gotta understand that I'm very new to this. Like you guys are experiencing this with me like i'm learning like you guys are watching me learn type shit so i don't know everything about the game yet like i'm still new to this shit so i can give you basic information but i can't get super in detail with it yet i'm not really certified until i'm able to ship out so let's go to the store right now let's get the materials and let's start shipping and make this money let's go all right so i just looked up some places where i can buy a bubble mailer and a shipping label printer and they sell them at walmart and staples but probably more places also, but those are the two places that are closest to me. I'm probably gonna go to Staples because Staples is more convenient and it'll be easier to find it there. But you could also go to Walmart too, and I'm sure it's in a lot of other places also, like Best Buy probably. But yeah, we finna go hit Staples, so yeah, let's go. All right, so we here at Staples, and you know what I'm thinking? Like, why is Staples called Staples? Like, don't get it twisted, it's a fire-ass name, but like, what made them think of it? Like, what's the backstory? Like, you think they were stapling a bunch of papers together and they were like, you know what? Let's call the store Staples. That's a fire name, though. I can't lie. And also, what the hell is Ulta Beauty? Like, what's Ulta Beauty? What the hell is Ruby Tuesday? What's the backstory of Ruby Tuesday? All right, I'm rambling. Let's go inside. Yeah. All right, so I found the bubble mailer. But, like, there's so many different sizes. I don't know which size I should get. But I feel like I should probably get the smallest size. Not that though, that's a square. I feel like this is perfect though, six by nine. So yeah, now we gotta look for a shipping label printer. All right, so I found the labels, the printer labels, and they're mad expensive, yacht. So you know what, instead of spending extra money on that, I'm just gonna use the printer that I already have at home because I just looked it up and you can print labels on there perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna do that. 
I'm gonna just walk away with these. So yeah. All right, so we just got the bubble mailers. Um, right now I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna test printing out a label on my regular printer. And also, the guy at the counter was calling me in my hair, you know what I'm saying? He peeps down by the lock up. He peeps it. He peeps that shit. So yeah, let's go back to the crib. All right, y'all. So we made a little boo boo. We made a little error. Fuck. So it turns out that these bubble mailers right here are just a little too small. And when I say a little too small, I mean way too small. So I was trying to put these in there, and I was like, damn, this shit is super tight. So then I forced it in there, and it ripped a hole in there. And I was like, maybe this one was just a, a fluke, you know what I'm saying? So let me try a different one. And same thing happened. So yeah, the 6x9 bubble mailers are way too small if you want to ship out AirPods in them. But the good news is, the other set that I bought is unopened. So I'm going to see if I can go return these tomorrow and get my money back. But as for right now, I'm going to eat make some TikToks, and then later i'm gonna test out printing out a shipping label on a regular printer so yeah but at least the good news is someone's about to come pick these up off of me locally they're on their way to my house right now they said they'll be here in like 20 to 30 minutes so that's the good news though so we're gonna be making our money back all right so they're here right now let's go All right, so we just got the 50 from that dude, and it, it was some big-ass nigga, too. Like, he was looking at the box. He was just examining it. I'm over there all shaking. I'm like, yeah, they're replicas, but they work exactly the same. There's no difference at all. I thought he was about to say, nigga, take that shit back. I don't want that no more. But, yeah, we got the 50, and yeah. I'm not going to lie. We have been running it up. We really have. July is really about to be the come-up month. Like, this is just the beginning right here. It's still June right now. It's June 29th. Wait till July, Z Genie. Wait till July, Zach. Just wait. Oh, yeah, and it turns out I lied. They actually do fit. I guess I have to just, like, expand it first and then put it in there. But, yeah, they do fit. But the only thing is, if someone's ordering more than one, I'm not going to be able to fit more than one in here. But if someone's ordering one, then I'll be good to go. So, yeah. All right, so it's the next day right now because the rest of the yesterday, I was procrastinating and got super distracted. And earlier today, all well, all day today, I was hanging out with friends, so I didn't really have time to do much with shipping. But I did get two sales today. It made $100. Well, one guy came and bought two off of me for 100 so 50 each. So yeah, we made $100. And um, I might get to shipping today. I might get to it tomorrow. We gonna see. I'm out here at the beach. He's getting another one. They're definitely giving him four. Oh, oh, oh my God. lord. You better smash the, the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's he talking to? Guys, we're walking back and at this crib we see a fucking possum. Ew. Is that like their pet or some shit? Look at that nigga. He's kind of cute though. All right, so as you can see, I've been super off task, whether I've been working, been out with friends. As you can see, it was the 4th of July the other day, so I was at the beach, but now we're back. And it turns out the whole time, I actually deleted all of my listings and I told myself I was gonna relist everything and put a more clickbaity title, but I didn't end up doing that until last night because I was procrastinating so hard. So what I ended up doing to get a lot more clicks, because as soon as I listed it in this kind of way, I started getting mad people hitting me up. So I put best offer AirPod Pro 2s. And then for the price, I'll put it for $0 and make it free. And then when they hit you up, you hit them with a price. Mad people will start hitting you up right away. So I have 11 of these listed on Facebook Marketplace and on OfferUp. And people have been hitting me up. And yeah, I have 11 left right now because I gave two away to my friend. So yeah. I also enabled shipping, of course, because that's what we're trying to do in this video. My goal is to at least ship out three of them type shit. So earlier today, someone on the offer up hit me up for some AirPod Pro 2s, of course, for 90 bucks. 
but I was getting an oil change, so I couldn't give it to him at the moment. So I was like, yo, can I pull up on you later? And he said that he has work later, but if I go to his job and drop it off to him there, then he'll give me 150 instead of 90. So hell yeah, that's a good ass price. So I'm gonna text him right now and hopefully he replies, let's go. So while I wait, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna post it on my Snap story too. So I'm gonna have him on Facebook, offer up in my Snapchat story. Snapchat is a good place to sell AirPods, but I don't really like doing it because I don't really post on my Snap story like that. And a lot of people that I went to school with have me on Snap that I haven't talked to in a minute. And I don't post like that. But when I do post, they're just going to see AirPods for sale. So <laughs> it's a little funny. But also, if you're wondering why most of these are still in that weird case, is because when I ship these out, I'm actually going to leave it in this weird case so that I don't get caught or whatever. Don't get in trouble. Don't get caught with fraud. I'm just trying to be extra safe. So I'm going to keep it in this box. And plus, when it was shipped to me, it was in this box. So when I ship it out, I'm going to keep it in this box. So yeah. Right now, I got two open. But obviously, when people hit me up for local delivery or local pickup, I'm going to take it out the box. So, yeah. The thing is, I want to post on my Snap story and have a bunch of them displayed. But most of these are still in the box, and I don't want to take it out the box. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my old AirPod cases and stack it on top of them. So, it looks like I have a bunch of them. When I actually do have a bunch of them, but I just don't want to open these weird boxes, if that makes sense. All right, I'm just rambling. Let me just post this story. I had a lot of people questioning me about what I post in my Snap story. What do I say? Like, you guys are really overcomplicating it. You could say whatever you want. As long as you mention that the reps, then you're chilling, bro. Just say that you have AirPod Pro 2s one-to-one -one for sale or some shit like that. And then when they hit you up, go more into detail about how their reps and how they're exactly the same. And there's no difference at all. Like, you guys are overthinking it. Just say whatever you want. Just say, oh, I got AirPod Pro 2s for sale, put the price, and then just say their reps. That's all you got to do. So right now, I got these listed on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp. I don't know why I flipped the middle finger, <laughs> and Snapchat. Um, if it's still quiet, then I'm going to list them on Macari also. I tried eBay, but eBay keeps taking my shit down, so I don't know what to do. But right now, I'm currently still waiting for that dude to reply back to me at his job. And yeah, let's just see what happens. All right, y'all. So yesterday ended up being a complete bust. I posted on my story. People slid up, but nobody bought anything. The people from OfferUp never got back to me, so they never bought anything. Right now, it's currently the next day. I'm about to go to the gym. It's 7 a.m. right now. I got work from 11 to 3. But after that, it's free game. Hopefully, I get some sales. And if I don't get some sales by the end of today, then I'm also going to list them on Macari. And I'm going to try to get them back up on eBay. But we're just going to see what happens. All right, so I just pulled into work, you know what I'm saying? I work at Amazon, some like little four and a half hour shift today. Hopefully when I get back, we have some sales. So let me clock in. Now, you know what? I feel really bad. Like this video honestly feels like a letdown and I feel like I shouldn't even post it. But you know what? This video is a letdown and also pretty significant to the series because it shows you that progress isn't always just going to be straight up. You know, it's not going to be uphill every single day. You know, there's downsides to progress, too. There's good days and there's bad days. And today, well, this video is one of those bad videos, but it's all right, though, because that's just progress. That's all a part of the journey, man. This is the air power reselling journey. And within every single journey, you're bound to run into some obstacles. You know, it's not always going to be sunshine, lollipops and rainbows throughout the entire journey. You know, there's going to be some obstacles. There's going to be some downsides. And that's what we went through today. But you know what? We're going to bounce back 20 times harder and 20 times stronger. You know what I'm saying? This is not it. This is not the end. We don't keep going. Now you may be thinking, why end the video now? Why not just wait till you have some progress going? One, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. You know, the last video was out like 11 days ago. And two, you guys want an update. This is an actual authentic update. I want to show you all that what I'm doing is authentic. I'm not just showing off all my wins. I got to show off the losses too. So yeah, I got to show off everything. This is the full journey. So yeah, this is an actual update. And yeah. Something that I did learn though is that the best place to sell your AirPods apparently from talking to people and hearing from TikTok is eBay, which I kind of believe that because eBay is like a worldwide marketplace. It's legit. But the only thing is eBay keeps taking down my listings. I don't know why. I got to figure out why that is. So in the next part, hopefully I'll be listing shit up on eBay and selling on eBay. I'm also going to try out Macari too. So yeah, in part five, stay tuned.
But this video isn't actually a complete fail though. Like at least we learned how to ship, you know what I'm saying? We got the material, we got the bow mailer. So like I'm a failure, but not a complete failure though. You know what I'm saying? But by next video, we're gonna be shipping these out. Actually, by the time you're watching this video, these are already gonna be shipped out, bro. Watch, watch me. I'm about to be locked the hell in. Oh yeah, we also got three sales too. So we also got that. So it's not like we didn't get any sales. Now, I'm going to just use the rest of this video to answer some questions, which the main question I got the most is where do I get the AirPods from? So I get it from this place called DHgate.com, which I'm going to have the link to it pinned in the comments, which I had in every single other video. So this is my supplier right here, which my specific supplier, you have to buy 10 of them. That's the minimum you can buy. So that's the only downside if you're not trying to buy them in bulk, but 10 of them for 143 and yeah, they're exact one to one no difference at all there they are right there also this is not me forcing you to buy off my link like you do not have to buy off my link at all there's so many other different suppliers on dh gate just find the right one find which one works best for you this is the one that worked best for me so if you decide to cop off my link and some crazy shit comes to you that aren't airpods do not blame me at all don't sue me i'm not held responsible i'm not forcing you to buy off my link but they are legit and no bullshit is gonna come to you. Another question that I got asked is, how do I list them on Facebook? And this is how I started doing it just now. I put best offer, AirPod Pros 2, brand new, and I put it for $0, and then people start hitting you up. But a lot of people be actually thinking that it's $0, but it's not. But um, yeah, I'm actually gonna start changing it up. I'm probably gonna do half of them like this, and the other half just normal for the next part. And also for condition, I list them as used like new, not brand new, because if you list them as brand new, it'll get taken down for whatever reason. So yeah. All right, so that's the end of the video right there. I really hope this wasn't a disappointment and a letdown. You know how like in popular TV series or anime, there's filler episodes? Well, this was one of them. This was a filler, all right? This was a filler episode. But this is a journey though, you know what I'm saying? I show off all the highs and the lows. I can't only just show the highs, you know what I'm saying? But this also is very significant because this is the video that I monetize my channel. Let's go. Yes, sir. We monetize now. So I'm about to be more motivated. I'm about to be uploading a lot more and just expect more out of me. Yo. So in the next part, I picture me shipping out all these AirPods on either eBay or Mercari. And then in the part after that, something that's hot right now is JBL speakers. So we're going to test out reselling JBL speakers in part six. But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all. Thank you for all the support. And we're going to be back and better than ever.